Hey everybody, um, it is July 24th and it is two days after my surgery. Just got my uh, vagus nerve stimulator put in um, and I just uh, wanted to show everyone um, kind of how I'm healing up uh, after two days, um, kind of what I'm expecting to see in the next couple weeks um, and what this, uh, what this device is going to do for me. Um, and if it's if it's something that you're considering uh, as a treatment, um, hopefully, you know, uh, I can you can kind of follow these videos and, and they'll help you out a little bit. Um, so, you know, I kind of was on YouTube trying to do a little research before this and and and, and kind of figure out what, what is this whole vagal nerve simulator. And there's not much information as far as like a first person perspective, you know, uh, I watched Organic Tall Girl on YouTube, her videos, and they were pretty insightful um, and pretty helpful. So I thought, you know, maybe one more person, um, just kind of another reference to help you guys out. Um, and I know, unfortunately for her, I don't think her stimulator, um, you know, I think she was still having seizures after she got it put in. Um, and everyone's different. So with epilepsy, as far as, as far as that whole thing goes, you know, everyone's got to take different medicine. Everyone has different cases. Epilepsy is just one of those things that, um, you know, it's different for everyone and it's kind of one of those mysterious, you know, um, disorders of the brain that we don't know a lot about. So I just kind of want to show you guys my journey. So it's two days after my surgery. Uh, I've just got the VNS implant. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still on pain medicines. I'm a little bit sore in the neck area, um, just kind of stiff. Uh, but that's going away. For two days after surgery, I can definitely say I'm feeling pretty good. Still on pain meds, but not too much. Um, it's pretty manageable, the pain. Um, a little bit hard to sleep, but that'll go away pretty soon. So uh, here is the device. You can definitely see it coming out of my skin. I don't have much body fat. Um, so, um, you know, when I, I, I push my muscle out a little bit, you can definitely see it more. Um, you know, it's going to be there. This whole area is, is kind of swollen. Um, and so it's definitely going to pop out a little bit more when the swelling completely goes down. And that's just, you know, that's a small price to pay for um, as far as, you know, the side effects I was feeling from my medication. I'm still feeling because I'm still on the medication. Um, and, and the goal is to hopefully uh, get off the medication enough to be able to have some sort of cognitive function and be able to um, remember things again and not be in such a fog or a days all the time, be able to go back to school and, and function, you know, I don't expect to be exactly where I was before epilepsy, but um, to be able to have a manageable life um, and just be excited and, and loving life and living life. Um, so this is the device. It's about the size of this Nixon watch head, um, a lot lighter weight, uh, of course, and actually a little bit thinner than this watch head. This watch head is a little bit thicker than the device. It's pretty lightweight. It's a sturdy device, though. The device is here. The lead kind of goes up and around. Um, there's an incision below my clavicle, and then another incision up on my neck here. And um, she actually, the doctor, I had a scar from a motorcycle accident I was in as a kid, a dirt bike accident. Um, I had a scar up there already. So she actually uh, just went through that scar, cut it open. She took some of the scar tissue out because this is a pretty bad scar and actually just used that scar, which was right here, um, to put the device in. So I didn't have to have any really new scars or anything, which was, um, which is kind of nice. And, you know, these scars, the stitches are on the inside, um, so they'll dissolve. Um, and they, you know, as long as I take care of them, I don't think they're going to really get too out of control or anything. They're, they're pretty manageable size scars, just about an inch on the neck an inch on the chest, um, which I can live with. Um, and like I said, the only pain I'm really in is just kind of a sore stiffness from um, where they were putting the stuff in. It doesn't hurt too much uh, in this area. Just my neck is a little bit uh, stiff. And so sleeping's um, a little bit difficult, but um, it's really it's really pretty manageable. It's, it's really, for two days after surgery, I can honestly say that I, I feel pretty um, I feel pretty good. And, and I had a good mindset uh, going into the surgery. So I haven't got the device turned on yet. Um, in two weeks, I'll go see my neurologist. He'll turn it on from a remote device. And then I'll post another video when it's turned on uh, to show you guys the magnets that I get. Um, I've already gotten them, actually. And I'll just swipe them over 
uh, the device here just a quick little swipe and I'll be able to actually send up a, a stimulation in case I feel like I'm going into a seizure or someone can take me out of a seizure which will be nice um, and and just kinda you know this whole situation with my epilepsy has been really um, scary for me just because I, I, I don't really have too many auras um, when I'm going into a seizure I don't really I can't really tell um, so it's kind of scary just not knowing and waking up and you know you know well you, you just had a seizure or two or three you know and it's like well where was I you know I don't want to be driving and be hurting anyone um, and so I've actually you know my seizures um, have been somewhat controlled on the medicine that I'm taking now uh, I'm taking Keppra and Depakote uh, and they're both pretty they both make me feel pretty terrible. Um, when I first got diagnosed, I was um, just, it was just a bunch of seizures just all at once. And, uh, it, you know, ground mall seizures. Uh, and I had like a whole, I was almost finished with my semester in college and I had to drop that whole semester just because I, I don't know, I, I don't even know how, you know, it's just the stress caused the seizures. And um, I had to drop that whole semester and then get get on a bunch of medicine. I was like, okay, well, I'm on medicine, so I can handle it now. Went back to school. The medicine wasn't working. Still had a bunch of seizures. So um, it's been a battle. It's been a fight. It was pretty depressing at first, um, just kind of getting used to it. And I've slowly started to, you know, do things um, to adjust my life. You know, you got to you gotta get back on the horse. And, um, you know, necessity is, a, is uh, the mother of invention. Or, you know, in this case, um, necessity, the mother of, you know, trying to, trying to at least live some somewhat of a, a normal life you know I don't expect my life to be exactly where it was before um, and I'm fine with that you know like there's a lot of different things I, I feel like you know are thrown at you throughout life that you just kinda have to you just kinda have to um, take it you know make a change if you have to and then and go on about about your business and, and fight through it um, I can say honestly the hardest part though is is just being on this medication it makes you cloudy it makes you foggy you know I haven't been able to go to school just because you know quitting my job and, and school and, and just kind of dropping everything um, just because I can't really function that well um, on the medicine and, and so that's hopefully what this um, you know the VNS system will help um, I, I really want to be back in school ASAP as soon as I can get that degree out of the way you know, I'm coaching lacrosse, I, I coach, you know, the youth league, the kids, and then I'm coaching the high school as well, so, you know, I don't want to see, I don't, you know, those kids give me, like, a lot of joy just to see how much they love to play, and and, and that's what's, you know, that's helped me um, with a lot of this since I haven't been able to play and stuff, um, but I don't want to see, you know, I don't want to rub off on them in a bad way and, and be in a bad mood like this medicine makes me in, you know. Just kind of the Capra's uh, kind of makes you uh, puts you in a pretty bad place, and then just rubbing rubbing that mood off on other people is is really no good. So I I don't want to be on medication, um, and I'm hoping that this um, will help me be off of some of the medication. Um, and you know I'm pretty optimistic about it, so I'm taking a whole new approach, um, and and I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good. So once the device gets turned on, I will let you guys know how it's feeling, how it's affecting me, any side effects that I'm feeling. Um, right now, you know, I feel pretty good, um, but I haven't had any of the stimulation. I haven't had any of the electrodes going up. So as far as, you know, how it's making me feel, I, I can't really say because the device isn't turned on yet. So I'll post another video and uh, let you guys know uh, what's going on with that. And hopefully I can start getting off my medication, get back in school, get back to coaching. I'll be back in the gym within a week, which is exciting. I'm getting anxious just laying around the house here, but I've just been trying to read and, and um, I don't know, just kind of <laughs> kind of stay relaxed. But it's been tough. It's been tough for sure. Um, but pretty excited to, to be back at life again. So... Um, this is video log one, um, and I will let you guys know how everything is going. This should be a pretty good year uh, for me, and uh, hopefully um, I can help you guys out. Um, 
as far as uh, you know seeking some sort of treatment other than medication uh, for your epilepsy. So I'll see you guys soon.